welcome to Ethropic. In today's video, I am going to explain you about the first chapter of class 9 computer science, which is uh, provided by Assam government this year newly. The chapter name is uh, the basic of computer system. So here mainly I am not going to explain about the input device, output device or computer system whatever. You have already know about this. I am go going to explain about uh, topic 1.11 data representation. Here the data representation. Data representation refers uh, to the form which data is stored, processed or transmitted. In computer data, the data is stored in form of binary or machine language. These binary numbers are a combination of 0 and 1s. Here 1 means on and 0 means off. When data is entered into a computer, it must be converted to bits of memory. Means it must be converted into binary numbers. For example, if we input a number 197, the number 197 will first convert it into equal to binary number which is uh, equivalent to double one triple zero one zero one and it will be stored in computer memory. Similarly, when we uh, input a character A, then it will be converted into equivalent to 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 in computer memory. So this way uh, the comp information are stored in a computer memory. Now, while we enter any information in computer, this uh, data is automatically converted into binary by CPU. In this uh, topic, we will mainly learn we, how we can convert the information from one number system to system to another number system. So digital number system, in digital number system like in computer quantities are represented uh, by symbol called digits. In many num in computer many number systems are using, they are mainly decimal number system, binary number system, octal number system and hexadecimal number system. From here binary is base 10 number system which we are using in our day to day life. Binary is base 2 number system, it have only 2 digits 0 and 1s. Octal is base 8 number system, which have 8 digits and hexadecimal is base 16 number system. Now let's uh, talk about decimal number system. The decimal number system is composed of 10 digits of symbol. These are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. And this is also called as base 10 number system. The decimal number system is a position value. Uh, which you know already in maths 1, 10, 1s, 10s, 100s, etc. Then comes binary number system. In binary number system, there are only two symbols 0 and 1s. So, this is called base 2 number system. It is the main number system which is used in computer system. The binary number system is also a uh, positional value system. Its binary numbers have its own value or weight express as power of 2. That's why when we are con uh, converting any number from binary to decimal or decimal to binary, then we have to div divide it by 2 or multiply by 2. For example, uh, consider the binary number 01011. The rightmost digit has a place value of 1 into 2 power 0, while the leftmost place value is 1 into 2 power 3. Means the first number place value here place value is 0. And uh, the second one this place value is 1 and third 0 this place value is 2 and the last one the place value is 3 and this will be power of this all will be power of 2 means 2 power of 0 2 powers of uh, 1 2 powers of 2 3 powers of 3 etc. It is very easy to design electronic circuit that operates only on two voltage levels and one is high, another one is low. Next one comes octal number system. The octal number system has eight values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So any number system which uh, have eight or nine in them, this is not a octal valid octal number. And octal number always start with zero in computers. Suppose I have a number 7, 9 and 2. If someone say this is an octal number then uh, you can say it's not a valid octal number because it have digit 9. 9 is not a valid digit of octal number. So 
octal number have only eight digit from zero to seven. If the digit have uh, the symbol from zero to seven, then it is a valid octal number. Otherwise, it will be invalid one. And the next number system is hexadecimal number system. It have sixteen digit from zero to nine, ten numbers. After nine, the in place of ten will use letter A. Then in place of eleven B, in place of twelve uh, C, and so on. In place of fifteen, uh, we'll use F. The hexadecimal also have some positional values. It will be power of sixteen, as a uh, binary is power of two, octal is power of eight, and hexa is power of sixteen. Then number conversions. In computer system, uh, normally we enter the information in. general english or whatever we are using in our day to day life and the computer have to be convert this number into binary so we must know how do this conversion happens first we'll learn how we can convert a decimal number into binary number suppose we have a number 106 we have a number 106 and when we represent a decimal number we write 10 below the number means this is a base 10 number system to convert this number into binary we will divide it by 2 First, we'll divide uh, divide two by ten. First, we'll take one. If we divide uh, two by one, then it's not possible. Then we'll take one more digit. We'll take ten. If we divide ten by two, then uh, the quotient will be five. We'll write the quotient again. Now, next time we'll take six. If we divide six by two, then it comes three, and there will be no remainder. So I will write simply here zero. After that, again divide fifty-three by two. Here, two twos are four, so write the quotient as two. Now one remainder left, so that remainder will come to three. Means it will be thirteen now. If you divide thirteen by two, then it will be six. Now here there will be one remainder, so you will write the one here. Again divide it. Uh, divide uh, twenty-six by two. There will be no remainder. Write zero and divide till you get zero. Continue the division process. So here will be the answer. At last, we'll get a uh, two and one. When you divide two by one, uh, divide divide one by two, it will go zero times, and remainder will be one, isn't it? While you are writing the answer, you will write from down to top. Means the answer will be one zero six uh, equal double uh, one one zero one zero one zero and Below the answer, he will uh, below the num binary number. He will write two. It indicates that this number is a binary number system. Let's have some another example. Suppose I have this number. I have number sixty-five, and this is a base ten number system. This is a decimal number. I have to convert into binary. So what I will do? I will divide the sixty-five by two. Sixty-five divide. Two, so what will be the quotient here? Quotient will be uh, six divided two. It is three. As a uh, paint is not sweet, uh, I don't have a digital board, so I'm doing the sum in notepad only. Six uh, divided two. It will be three. Next number is five. So five divided two. It is Five divided two, it will be two. Two to the four, and there will be remainder is one. So remainder will write here. Remainder equal one. Now our next number is thirty-two. So thirty-two divide two. If I divide thirty-two by two, then the quotient will be uh, three one time and twelve sixteen time. Ah, uh, twelve six times. So it will be sixteen. Here no remainder. So we'll put remainder as zero. Again, now our next number is sixteen. Sixteen divide two. So here quotient is eight, isn't it? Quotient is eight, and the remainder is zero. There is no remainder. So we'll write here zero. Again, next we'll divide eight by two. So here quotient is four, and remainder is zero. Again, we'll divide four uh, by two. 
here quotient is 2 and remainder is 0 again we have uh, the number 2 so 2 divide 2 quotient equal 1 and remainder equal 0 and next number we have 1 1 divide 2 there will be no number no quotient because we cannot divide 1 by 2 so it will be 0 here and the remainder will be 1 so we can write the answer is like 65 equal we'll write the answer from bottom to top so 1 how many times 0 1 2 3 4 5 times 0 so 1 5 0 then 1 so this will be the answer of when we divide the 65 by when we convert 65 into binary so this will be the answer 1 5 0 1 so this way you can convert a decimal number into binary now suppose we have a decimal point then what happens let's see to convert a decimal or to convert a decimal fraction into binary the procedure is successively multiply the decimal fraction by 2 and record the leftmost uh, decimal point reading down the numbers and finally binary result is obtained here there will be some there is some mistake in the example of the book one so we are going to we are going to practice some and uh, we, we are going to try some another example so this is from your exercise page number 30 question number d 35.375 in book this question is given 35.375 we have to convert this number into binary so this is a fractional number so while we are doing fractional number we have to divide in two parts first i will uh, divide the whole number by 2 first means I will convert the 35 so 35 divide 2 question will be uh, if I divide 35 by 2 how much I'll get uh, 3 1 time and here 15 it will be 7 time so remainder will be 1 again I will divide now 17 17 divide 2 here quotient will be uh, 8 because 8 is a 16 and remainder will be 1 again we have 8 8 divide 2 quotient will be 4 remainder will be 0 again 4 divide 2 quotient is 2 remainder is 0 again 2 divide 2 quotient is 1 remainder is 0 and again 1 divide 2 there will be no quotient it will be 0 and remainder is 1 so this is the whole number means if we convert uh, 35 into binary number then we will get this answer 1 triple zero one one now I will convert the decimal part that is 0 that is 0 0.375 to convert this part, we will uh, multiply the number by 2, 0.375 into 2. So, we'll, if we multiply this number by 2, we will get the answer is uh, 750, 0 0.750. So, here we will write only the left hand side number means the whole number whatever we are getting we are getting here as 0 in left hand side left hand side of the decimal so we will write here 0 again we will convert the next answer which is in right hand side 750 
पॉइंट सेवन फिफ्टी इंटू टू सो हियर आंसर विल बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड वन पॉइंट फाइव जीरो जीरो हियर द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड नंबर इज वन अगेन विल कन्वर्ट फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू टू हियर द एंसर इज वन जीरो जीरो सो हियर आवर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड ऑफ द फ्रैक्शन डेसिमल नंबर इज वन सो विल राइट वन मीन्स एंड हियर द एंसर विल राइट फ्रॉम while we are doing the whole number we are writing answer from bottom to top isn't it but in fractional part we'll write the answer from top to bottom so our answer will be 35.375 equal first we'll write 100011 point and here from top to bottom so means 011 so this is the binary equivalent of fractional number 35.375 this way you can convert a fractional decimal number into binary hope you have understand i will uh, show the example in copy also i will uh, do the sum in copy and show you the screenshot in in the video you can see it now we'll convert uh, now we'll go to the next topic which is binary to decimal let's uh, have the explanation first now we have binary to decimal conversion in order to convert a binary number to its decimal equivalent the procedure to find the product product of its value 0 or 1 and its positional value and then to add all the products for example suppose we have this number 101 1101 here four numbers so we'll put some uh, index or place value to the numbers first one will be zero next one uh, means from right hand side first one is zero second one uh, one two and three so that's uh, that's how we are multiplying here one into two power three and so on so two power three means here two into again two into 2 means 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 if we multiply 2 3 times we are getting the answer is 8 that's why 1 into 8 again 2 power 2 means 4 1 into 4 again 2 power 0 or 2 power 1 means 2 only so 0 into 2 and the last one is 2 power 0 with any number if you put power 0 then the answer is 1 so here also it is 1 so 1 into 1 equal 1 only So eight plus four plus zero plus one, it is thirteen. Means one zero one one zero one is equivalent to thirteen. Now let's have some other example. Here, suppose I have a number one one zero one zero. I have this number. I have to convert into binary. First, I will put some index number. First one will be zero. Then one two three four. So I will write one into Two power. Uh, this is exponent. It is also known as power of in computer. Two power four plus one into two power three plus zero into two power two plus one. Into two power one plus zero into two power zero. So now I am going to multiply the numbers. First one into if I multiply two in four uh, four times one is four plus 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 one is four plus
4 times so it will be the answer will be 16 means 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 so we'll write 16 plus 1 into if I multiply 2 3 times it is 8 plus if we multiply any number by 0 then it is 0 so I am writing directly 0 I am not solving this part then again 1 into 2 power 1 it is 2 only plus again multiply with 0 so we will put directly 0 now it is 16 into 1 16 plus 8 plus 2 16 plus 8 it is uh, 24 24 plus 2 25 26 so we will write as 26 means 1 1 0 1 0 equal 26 so this way you can convert a binary number into decimal now if suppose we have a decimal we have fraction decimal point in our binary number then how we can solve it let's uh, have the example in book first binary fraction to decimal conversion in order, order to convert fraction into decimal equivalent the process is to find the product of each digit value 1 and 0 its position value and then add all the products suppose we have this uh, decimal number 0 0.1 0 0.0102 0, 2 means base 2 number so we are so while solving the number first we have to convert the whole no, whole numbers uh, as here whole number is 0 only I am not solving here then it is uh, 0 into 2 minus 1 0 into 2 power minus 1 and 2 power minus 1 means 0 into 2 power minus 1 2 power minus 1 means what it will be 1 by 1 by 2 so if we convert 1 by 2 into decimal uh, number it will be 0 0.5 means whatever the first number comes in the first uh, as the first number is 0 only though, so here writing directly 0 and the second number 2 into 2 4 if it will be like uh, 1 by 4 if we convert 1 by 4 into decimal it will be 0.25 that's why it is multiply by 0.25 0 0.25 means 1 into 0 0.25 and third number again as it is 0 directly it's writing 0 so if we convert this number into decimal it will be directly 0 0.25 now let's have an example from book we have a number 110.110 so we have this number in book 110.110 First, we will convert the left hand side of the decimal means 110. This part we will convert. Here we will put index like 0, 1, 2. So we will write equal 1 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 1 plus 0 into 2 power. 2 power 0 so here we'll get 1 into 4 plus again 1 into 2 plus 0 so equal it's 4 plus 2 it is 6 so 110 means 6 now again we'll convert the fractional part so the fractional part is 0 0.110 so the first uh, number just after the this point which is also called as tenth will multiply it by 50 so we'll write 1 into 
zero point five plus next number again one into zero point two five plus third number third number is one by eight if you convert one by eight uh, if we convert one by eight into fractional or decimal per number it will be zero point one two five so we'll write zero into one point zero point one two five So now we will write the answer here now. It will be 1 into 0 0.25, it will be 0 0.50. 0 0.5 or we can write it, write 0 0.5 plus here 0 0.25 plus and it is 0 as it is multiplied by 0. If we multiply this 2.5 and 0 0.25, we will get the answer is 0 0.75. Now, as we are getting the answer is uh, there are 6 and here 0 0.75, we can uh, add both the numbers. So, we can write 6 plus 0 0.75 equal 6.75. So, the answer will be 110. Point one one zero equal six point seventy five. So this is the answer of if you convert one one zero point one one zero into decimal, this will be the answer six point six seven five. Now let's uh, move some to another number, decimal to octal number. As in binary number, what we are doing, we are dividing the number by 2. In decimal to octal number, we will divide the number by 8. As always in decimal number, you will write base as 10. In octal number, you will write the base as 8. So, we will have to convert 246 into octal number. First, we will divide 246 by 8. Uh, in 24, it is 3 times and 6, it cannot be divided. So, here 0. And the remainder as uh, the remainder is 6, you will write the rem remainder in right hand side. Again divide 8 by 30, so remainder will be 3. Or remainder will, uh, it goes 3 times and remainder will be again 6. Mm. Thirty minus 24, it is 6 only, so remainder will be 6. Again it is, uh, you will divide 8 by 3. You will divide 3 by 8. When you divide 3 by 8, uh, it will go 0 times and remainder will be 3. So, the answer will be, you will write from bottom to top. So, answer is 366 base 8. And for the fractional part, it's same way. In binary number, we are converting, we are multiplying it by 2. Here, we will multiply by 8. And for octal to decimal conversion, we will multiply by 8. As here you can see, as in binary we are uh, multiplying by 2, here we are, we are multiplying by 8. And for hexadecimal also, as in binary we are dividing by 2, but in hexa we will divide it by 16. In uh, next video, I am going to explain about more about hexadecimal and octal, how we can convert from one to another. So, for today's video, this much only. If you have any confusion regarding binary to decimal or decimal to binary conversions or in fractional part, you can ask me in comment section. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye.